and welcome back to the Long Hot Cricket Podcast. I'm Dave, I've got Owen sat beside me, and we're going to have a little look on this rainy day about the England new head coach and the position England currently find themselves in, where to go next. And I'm hoping, I need to load them up, but to get some comments on the go, because we haven't done that. Uh, it's been a while since Many we've had a look at the comments. How are you anyway? Are you okay? I'm all right, mate. Uh, do we, um, did we promise one every week? Because we did actually miss one. Yeah, but then no cricket, no party. I don't mean there's been any. Still no cricket now. But right. <laughs> there is a party. Well, oh. um, how, how are we going to get this one going, mate? So uh, I think we'll have I'll tell you what, can we cover that bit at the top there? Because people get upset about other teams doing well what? and us not talking about it. So currently in the long You can just say their headline if you like. I think that'll be enough. Long Cup Studios. <laughs> we have got the news up and we're gonna we 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 do the news now, don't we? That seems yeah. to be a regular part <laughs> of the of the show. The what the one or two new episodes we've done. The you alright, mate? It's a dog. You've got a dog. You can't have a go at the dog. Okay. Uh, do you want a jingle? Yeah. We won't have a jingle. Let's get straight into the news. India thrashed South Africa to claim Test Series win. Secure record 11th straight home Test win for India. How do India do away from India? Um, like Okay, but not great. Does anyone do well away from home? Like Pakistan, are they allowed to play at home yet? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Because they do exceptionally well, soon as they haven't yeah, played at home at that's all. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, all right. That'll the do. The fact that they're still I'll a test that. here. I'll take that as an answer. Uh, Virat Kohli, of course, scores 250 odd. He's the leading double century maker for India now. He's, I think he's got more than such. Yeah, he's not as good, though. Who would you have? Well, Him or Smith? Smith. I just think, you know, Smith got a duck the other day f- for his camp, for his uh, state. Did he? Yeah, that made the news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have, I'd have anyone but Smith. I think they could hear me swigging that bottle on real yeah, Almost certainly, yeah. You know, I got nervous before coming on. I got, I'm actually a ill. A weird throat. Yeah. Not a throat, like, do you know when you get nervous and the tongue goes all dry? No. That happens a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a lot. What happened the other day and I was just covered in sweat? <laughs> <laughs> I was being sat down. <laughs> Do you know when you're like, oh, I can't wait to get this shirt? It was at work. I, was like, I can't wait to get this shirt off. Because it's just... I was in, well, you're not going to take your shirt off at work, Not at work, you? but I was like, when I get home, then I, I want to stop this from clinging onto me because I've been... Oh, I so thought you pressure. meant as in, you don't want to take, like, when you get real sweaty, you've oh, got no. a jumper on. No, I had a jumper like, on. Oh, no, I can't now take the jumper off. It's the too is, late now. <laughs> the jumper gave me... Like a sense of um, security because I was like, well, it's not going to soak through the jumper as well. No, so yeah. like, but at the same time, I know that I'm pretty wet under here. It does happen. I can't remember what it was for. I don't think it was anything important. Um, so India thrashed South Africa to claim Test record. Have eleven. So that's a Test record. No team have made eleven on the row wins in Test history. Is that true? At home, at home. Or is that just for India? Test Oh, <laughs> You shouldn't have asked you that, should I? It's Someone's going to know that and put it in the comments if we don't... A lot of reading. We don't We don't put it through now. So, and I think we need to be honest that we don't know a lot about cricket. That's not what this podcast is about. We are We are fans. If this is just a, a podcast of two people who would have a normal conversation That's about it. cricket with their friends. I think if we got a job... I was going to yeah. say, if we got a job on the Long Hop Cricket Podcast, we, we've already got that. But if we got one for, like, Test Match Special, yeah, I think you'd have to know what you're talking well, about. Well, like if, if our local radio station had us to cover the cricket in the I'd summer... Hate, I'd hate... I'd ha- we would I couldn't have to. imagine how bad you'd be to work with if that happened. Why stress? Yeah, just the, the panic and stuff you'd be saying we had to do, ready for it. That's just not but, true. But then, like, we wouldn't be... Just like, like when we started doing this. But then I was the boss of this. <laughs> we um we would have another different boss and they'd be telling us what to do. But anyway, going into the fact that we don't know a lot, I didn't know um Andy Flower was still part of the ECB. Part of the ECB and he was the head coach for the England Lions. He's actually um Why would you do that? About to leave the 
England. I don't know. Why, why would you take a really you know, a really good coach, replace him with one that's not done very well, and then have the really good coach doing the team that's not really important? Why would you do that? Don't know. But Andy maybe Flower... He didn't want, maybe he didn't want the pressure of the big... Well, perhaps they thought his... Andy Flower wasn't... He developed you, the players. If you go, especially with the whole Kevin Peterson thing, and you've watch everybody talk about that Andy Flower and Andy Flower's part of the England team he wasn't well loved by the players by some of the players it doesn't really matter though does it if so I think like. apparently he was like a he would he would work you hard and then tell you that's alright isn't there it was, there was like no like putting his arm around you and saying you're a brilliant player it's you're doing it or you're not oh, KP didn't like that no he wants to be told he's brilliant yeah. didn't he yeah I can see where that did well, like, work out at the same time I think I like it when you know, someone comes and tells me I'm doing a good job, even if it's honest. Well, I think everyone does. But what 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 works for you? Like, do you remember in school? Yeah. Did you didn't really do any sports clubs, did you? No. Did you ever do any like outside of school sports clubs? When I was in primary school, yeah. Right. So I did was you in football team? Did you experience like different coaches, as in how they speak to you? Oh, what? That's that's a good point, actually. As in. Did I have, like, yeah, like a motivator or did I have like a tactical person kind of thing? Yeah. I st- When I was like at the start of high school, I played for a pretty good rugby team outside of school. Yeah. And the coach was trying to tell me how to pass the ball. And I just like spin passing and he wanted a pop pass. Yeah. But I just kept doing a spin pass and he pulled me to the side. Oh, no. And just gave me a massive bollocking. I've never experienced it Really? Before. It's like, you've got to get it through your head. I don't want a spin pass. I want a pop pass. So you were 12? Yeah, or like 13, 12, 13. something like that, yeah. And I was like, oh my, he's actually having a go at me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, did you know? This it didn't work, I quit. <laughs> this is completely random, but we had a, like a spam email in our inbox the other day. Wait. Of saying, did we want to, did we want to join up? Um... Come on, mate. Uh, reaching out, it's... Um, it's uh, the only reason I've said this is because I've clicked on the internet to c- go to the YouTube comments and the first thing's come up is our e- email for some reason. Right. And it's this guy called Joe Sinkwitz. Right. Hi there. I came across your YouTube channel and was wondering if you ever do product reviews or influencer campaigns. Okay. <laughs> Bear in well, mind, we're 200 subscribers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if right. you do, we'd love to have you in our network doing commission videos and product reviews. We're an influencer marketing platform that helps connect small businesses and medium-sized brands with willing product review uh, reviews across a variety of mediums and blogs, reviewers, and compensated uh, monetary... Right, what, what, how much are they going to pay us? What do we have to review? If you've made the... Uh, if you're not quite ready to sign up <laughs> but are interested in learning more about what influencer marketing is all about, I encourage you to check out this link. Oh, f- Thing is, though, right now, if he didn't say hi there, he said hi, Long Hot Cricket Podcast. All right, you'd have you'd have been you, I'd have been, like, been sold. You'd have been I'd have been yeah. It's almost <laughs> like that just fires out to loads of places. Oh, it does. That idea. that's that. <laughs> he somehow found our email address, and I was like, if that somehow, said, it's on YouTube. Yeah, but I wonder. Like, I don't believe he's just. Stum- I don't believe someone has stumbled across this and. Put us on a list. I think they have. There's some algorithm. I think out they've there. someone has listened to it and gone, these lads can sell stuff. And they should be. But like if I'll sell stuff for you. If Joe Sinkwitz said hi hi, Long Hope Recorders, love your channel and the fact that you brought it back, I'd be like, Yes, we are going to do everything. I, do you want money from us? I I I would do like I would sell products that I thought were bad. I'd say they were good. Just, just for the money. Yeah. So there, that, the should, c- that should help advertisers who want to come in. I'm the kind of person that goes into the bank and asks them to um, put my money in like gun smuggling. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Right. Should yeah. we? Uh, should we get on with the news? Yeah. We've gone off off the rails. Oh, that was quite. Not- oh, where's my thing gone? Hey. All right. Here we go. Turn on data saver. Oh. England star Brunt uh, and Skyver announce engagement. 
I didn't hear a word you just said then. England star Brunt and Skyver announce engagement. No idea w- what that means. No, 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 no. Is it two of the England women's team and they're getting married to each other? Or we should probably should just click on it and we'll find out, won't we? Yep. Incredible. They want to be ambassadors and role models for boys and girls who want to be who they are. That's a nice story. Two of the girls from the England... They called the Lionesses or is that the football they called them the Lionesses? It's the football team. I don't know. They might be, but I know that the football team are. Cricket Australia introduced maternity leave. It's all very kind of like very non-cricketing things being mentioned. In the what news. do you mean, mate? Don't Inge- start Canada. this, mate. <laughs> so, have you heard about Ben Stokes beating up his wife now? I know this is where <laughs> we've gone from. <laughs> <laughs> Two very nice things. Maternity oh leave and same-sex marriage. Is he beating up marriage. his wife now? But have you not heard about Ben Stokes part- putting his face in, so- in his wife? Put- putting his hands... <laughs> In his wife's face during an awards show. No. It's been captured. His wife's come out and said, Oh, it's a load of rubbish, and so it's Ben Stokes, right? Yeah, of but course. It was, but it like, must be terrifying. Of I course, you're going to come out and discredit it. I was just thinking. My was, only advice would be keep your left up. <laughs> that would be my advice to her. I'd be sending her footage of that bloke getting dropped. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't go to Bristol. So, obviously, the England. Background staffer, very quick to say we're not losing him again. Yeah, you know. of course. But I, don't, they are. I don't think it actually anything from what it seems like. I obviously don't know the full picture. From what it seems like, everything's fine and there's been no malicious intent in Ben Stokes putting his hand in his wife's face and it being papped or videoed or whatever it was. Yeah, he probably should you like just leave that stuff, shouldn't he? Uh, did you know that they've done the 100, um, you know this 100 ball format we're having? Oh, yeah. They've, the, the England team, which we'll probably do a different podcast on to be fair, the England team have been mm, rostered for that. If rost- if rostered I for saw that bit. like Ben Stokes has been bought, he's in a team, Joe Root's in one. Yeah, but Joe Root's not in the, his Yorkshire team, I think, I think he's in the Nottingham team. Anyway, let's have a little look at the news. This is a bit slow, this one, isn't it? Yeah, the new. Well, it's not the summer, is it anymore? So, I suppose the news is going to be a bit slow. Isn't I'm it? feeling a bit ill as well. You should mention that. I'm just saying. That's just too hard to do. What was the problem with it? I think the pro- the. Well, it's not a problem, is it? Because people are always going to disagree what you pick, <laughs> and. Um, you could just do it pretty easy, couldn't you? Like I could name an all-time eleven that is going to be a pretty good team, just straight off my head like that. I'll have boycott number one, number yeah. number two. I'll have Matthew Hayden. That would get some. Number three, I'll have Sachin Tandolka. Four, Brian Lara. Five, I'll have Steve Smith, just to annoy people. But all time would be so, really see, tricky. But that is all time. Yeah, but like, that doesn't, you know. Number six. You have Brad, would you have Brad Wimmer at eight? I'll have. I would imagine. The, uh, <laughs> 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 Number six. I'm going to go batting heavy. Yeah. I, I've got my number seven. Kumar's my number seven. Keeper as well. Yeah. But he's not going to be averaging 70. With yeah, I know, but I don't need it. 50. Um, and he'd be averaging a lot with the players around him. Yeah. Six, I've had Viv Richards. Eight, I'd have, I'd have Beefy. Yeah. Be a useful number eight, wouldn't he? Then my bowlers, I'll have Michael Holding. I don't care the order. Shane Warne. Well, they're never going to have to get a chance to bat. That and up, so. uh, who, who do I want as my... Uh, I'll have Jeff Thompson just for out and out pace. There, that's my eleven. I'm really lack bowlers there, but I, I I don't care. I might even be one player short. Can I? The dog is never sat like that. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is sat on your arm, yeah. upright on the edge of the sofa. I know. She's bored. Like a mountain goat. It is quite like. But I've never goat. seen her sit like that ever. She's never sat there in the th- tw- well, eleven years I've had her. Yeah, to be fair, she's a muscular dog. Look at the definition. Yeah, it's ripped. She's ripped. 
Anyway, do you want to have a little look at she Chris? She does have a strict diet, though. Yes, pizza. So, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> she eats a lot of fish. Fucking stinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you want to have a <laughs> do you want to go into Chris Silverwood and the England coaching position? Don't ask me if I want to. <laughs> We're going to. We're going to. <laughs> Don't ask me if I want to. Just get you, into it. Do you know anything about Chris Silverwood? Bits and bobs. Do you, go on then. Let's have some of them because I actually know nothing. Yeah, I know he's a very good um, fast bowler coach. He actually is the England bowling coach. Right. Currently. That's what I just said. <laughs> Chris Silverwood. He's very good. Um, his research into cross seam bowling has actually had a major effect on... Um, Where have you read this? One Day Internationals. Has it but really? he's starting to try... cross. No, I'm just making it up. Oh. I've got no idea. Did you did you know he was a bowling coach? Or did you just well, no, it's because the picture you just brought up was Imston next to Archer. <laughs> so that was my guess. <laughs> That's good infant skills. Well yeah, done. mate. I'm, I'm actually quite clever. So he's actually a former international cricketer and is currently the head coach Probably of England. True but previously was the bowling coach for England. Do you want to have a little look and see if we can see his stats? He was the bowling coach. He was pre- he's not going to be any more, is he? He's the head coach. Oh, he's just taken over completely now, yeah, is he? Yeah, I'm not following this at all. He's gone. Um, he's gone? <laughs> what's his name? Trev. Yeah, Trev's gone. Oh. Probably would be England Lions coach now. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? That would be weird. It's like the opposite of England football. Do you want to have a little look at his um, bowling stats for England? Not really, no. He's played six test matches and average only... That can't be right. Is that 70-something? His economy cannot be 75. <laughs> Why is he the coach? <laughs> oh, no. That's strike rate, surely, at 75 strike rate. Even though, oh. He's not going to go for that pour over, is he? It's not possible. Donut. So he... Oh, come on. You're allowed to call someone a donut, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Okay. You just checking, but sometimes those things, words can just quickly become unusable and you, if you you need to keep up to date with that stuff. So let's have a little look at his stats. ESPN Cricket Info. This is Chris Silverwood. I've n- uh, he's played for Middlesex and Yorkshire. Wow. Six test matches. A high score of 10. That's all right. Made double figures. But s- but how many not out? Three not outs in six matches. You can't argue well, with well that. Well done. Well Carries played. his bat, doesn't he? Is it what sort of bowler is he? Do we know that? Uh, fast bowler. I think, like, not, not rapid He's a bowler. Fast, but he was a quick bowler. Look at his bowling figures. He has an uh, average of 40. So he played six matches with 11 wickets. Strike rate of 75. Yeah, that's not good. Um, he obviously wasn't didn't have the most successful or the longest test career. It doesn't really matter though, does it? Because no, there's like loads of coaches that careers. Yeah, weren't yeah. Brilliant. You see, Mark Ramprakash is in there. You see, Mark Ramprakash is a coach for the bat- England batting coach, and he never made it a test level. Right, but he's like one of the most decorated. County, county player, batsman yeah. ever. Hickey's down the. I don't lot. think Silverwood's some county legend, is he? Well, let's have a little look at his. He's played 184 matches. Right. First class matches, so four day games. Average of 27, picking up 577 wickets. So very good. <laughs> okay. He's a very accomplished. Yeah. I'm uh, not having a go. I'm just saying you don't player. have to, do you, to be a. No, you don't. To be a good. 44 years old, so fairly young. You think about. Yeah. Like, we were talking about Alistair Cook going on to. Jimmy Anderson's only 38. I know. So we were talking about Cookie Bell going say on to that, his 40. Didn't we say that Gooch was 40 Anderson will be the next England coach? No. We were saying he was going to be at some point. Mm. I remember having a conversation about that. Maybe perhaps. There's such big gaps in between our <laughs> podcasts. But he's obviously a... He probably hasn't been at the game that long. No, not at county level. How old's Drascothic? He literally just stopped. He's like 44, isn't he? Especially if, well, yeah, but as a fast bowler, you're probably more limited. That's very true. But then... Like Tresco opening. <laughs> but then you look at, we say fast bowler limited in, certainly in the test arena. Yes, absolutely. But what you look at the, yeah, no, the bowling no, at county you level. Still, yeah, you if your body can keep up, you can bowl 65 miles per hour on county level. No, you can't. You can. Go 
we I'm not lying, I can I can bowl faster than sixty five miles an hour. I've had it speed checked. I can bowl faster than that. Have a look at Chris Silverwood. Let's just see if there's any news. You articles. can't bowl sixty five miles an hour. Not as a seam bowler. You can barely do that on a Saturday. League cricket. Do you, you want battered? Do you know what I think would be nice? Because I don't bore it's boring me reading things. But if I just read the headlines, we might be able to I think we should speculate more. This is definitely not <laughs> what people should do in life, but reading headlines will make a judgment on that. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> no actual research. It's much more fun. Uh Chris And it's good to be controversial, you get more yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. Chris Silverwood brings more homely touch to England's quest for success. I like that. Wing back chairs, <laughs> log burners. That sort of thing. Pictures of WG Grace in the front room. New England head coach Chris Silverwood opens door to quick test re- return for Johnny Bairstow. Fair enough. That was a telegraph. The Times, Chris Silver- Silverwood, England bowlers need discipline. Okay. All right. What, as in he's going to tell Stuart Broad that when he pitches it up, he does well? And he Incoming England coach it. Chris Silverwood keen for Owen Morgan to continue his short oh, form captain. I thought he was captain. talking about me then. At the times, Chris Silverwood was going to breed with horses. What? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> shut up. We're going to leave that out there. <laughs> Chris Silverwood was going to breed... Oh, right. Um, There's no way it says he was going to breed horses. with horses. So he wasn't personally going to do it. It's there. On my screen. Chris Silverwood's England brief is to reinvent Root as a batsman and captain. Oh, no. Not captain. Chris Silverwood's wow factor before... and uh, we did, I'm not going to click on it. So, Chris Silverwood's already had to come out and back um, Ben Stokes, but that seems to be a bit of a nothing story anyway. But I thought we would talk about, perhaps, if there was anybody... Because we don't know anything about Chris Silverwood. That's not true. I've told you about his <laughs> research. But if we were to look at... He's obviously going to be popular within the England dressing room because he has worked there previously. I heard on Jimmy Anderson's podcast he's a really nice man. People like him, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. You're going to say that, though, aren't you? But yeah. So he, it's nice that he's already got, you know, he already knows the players. He's probably going to find that transition a bit easier than at someone who's coming in fresh, if you like. I'll tell you what I'm interested in. I get the role of the England coach. What is the role at that standard when you're, when you're trying to coach England bowlers? Sorry? When you're trying to coach England bowlers. Well, you're the England bowling coach, which he yeah. used to be. Yeah. What are you, what are you What's doing? his actual job? I imagine. Because they're going to have their technique down by that point. Or if you're playing for England. Not necessarily. There might be like minute changes, maybe, you know. Well, Jimmy Anderson went through a massive change. They went back the other way, didn't they? They changed his whole action I while playing know. for England. They did that. They did. But and he's gone back the other way. So he never, he used to. They he, they said that if you're looking at the floor when you're bowling, because he had that thing, he has that thing where he's down low, doesn't he? Yeah, he, bowls. he didn't do. Yeah, that was massive at the start of his career. <clears throat> and now, so that was, and obviously, a coaching staff went away and did that. But when yeah, but when you come in, uh, do you think it's more like analysing opposition batsmen and uh, coming up with plans for your bowlers of how to bowl at them? Yeah, rather than. But I think there'll be a lot of analysis on the bowlers first. Or do you reckon the the bowlers? Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? So like, if you are so like, it's like Stuart Broad come to him like, I want to, you know, I want to integrate the outswinger into my game yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And I think your bowling coach will go to your player. Let's so it, it's definitely going to be more. Do you reckon you have goals and stuff you got to meet? You ha- mm. as a bowling coach, Jack. Well, you will have. Oh, as the as the player, or as the coach, your coach. No idea because that's that's very hard to. Yeah, it's just like open ended. Could just turn up like that's a cracking ball, well bowled. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not coaching, but I am. I'm giving them confidence. <laughs> well done, mate. That's right. a lovely ball. You're obviously going to do more coaching with the Joffrey Ar- with the Joffrey Archer rather than a Stuart Broad, aren't you? Because you someone who's well, brand new younger. younger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure, well, maybe Broad's. unless he's fine. But then they're going to say you don't have to coach someone, do you? No, but they're going to say to Joffrey Archer, they're probably going to analyze his Ashes performance and say, um, "Well, we could improve on this." Whether that's his bouncer or whether that's do you his reckon it's numbers based? 
a lot of it. It got to be now. That's surely, so boring now. has to be now. That would annoy the living hell out. Of has me. to be a lot of analysis. I'd be so happy to make it as a professional cricket player. I just like, oh my dream, and then they'd sit you in a room with a, I mean, a lights on and a projector. Like you bowl 0.47% of the balls out here. And when you, but oh no, I didn't think it would be like this. But the thing is, though, I think, I honestly think cricket players in particular. I reckon that's the, bo- I reckon that's the bowling coach's job to yeah. do that and pass, pass yeah. it as, as usable information. Well, he's, I don't player. know if he's going to do the, he's not going to be, he's doing, not going to do the do analysis, the, but he, it he'll, will get be his the, job he'll get the figures for it, won't he? The analysis to on, be yeah. us, usable information to the bowler. Yeah. More than like a Joffre, I think your, uh, your right foot on impact at landing needs to be two degrees more turned out. I mean, he probably does do a bit of that. In fairness, that's probably something that actually does happen. <laughs> like uh, preventing injuries. I think I could do it. <laughs> Would you be my assistant coach? Yeah, but we'd get sacked immediately. You might. You're I unprofessional. I wouldn't turn up. Well, you're definitely going to get sacked then. Yeah, I'd work from home. Skype the, what? Players. Skype the players. Skype them? Yeah. Just Skype. tell them what? I'll be like, so like, what are we going to be? We we'll be the batting coach, right? Because I'm really good at talking about technique with batting. <laughs> you don't know. <sighs> so let's say we've got Johnny Bears, though. Right. I'll just over Skype, just say, you know, everything's going to be okay, mate. If we get back in the team, just keep working hard, and that'll be it then. Nice. Like, just keep work, that. keep working hard. Just keep working hard. Like here's some tape of Jonathan Trot. Think about it. Do you think it would be easier? To be the batting coach and then to be the head coach or the bowling coach to be the head coach. I don't think there's much difference. The batting coach, you're, wor- you're working with more players, aren't you? you? In theory, you could be working with all 11 starters. You probably are, to a degree, obviously. And yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, the bowling coach, you're working with five. You're working with all of them, but you're working with five. You're not working with all of them as the bowling coach, yeah. are you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? And you've got to teach batting. You've got to teach different way, obviously different ways of batting. But you're not going to do the same stuff with your no. number eleven, yeah, as yeah. you are going to be doing with your number yeah. three, are you? But like you are, get, you are building. So if he was the batting coach, so Mark Rampakashan, yeah. he's built relationships with every single player in the team. What about batting buddies? <laughs> but then I uh, think that's a good idea. On the other hand, perhaps the bowlers in that England team were the. Most senior players, the biggest personalities, and getting them on side first is better. Imagine if they had bowling buddies. They kind of do, though, don't they? No, but I mean, like, a <laughs> well, bowler has to, to teach a batsman how to bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, that wouldn't actually be that bad because batsmen would get a better understanding of what, especially batsmen who really can't bowl at all, yeah. would get a better understanding of what bowlers are trying to do to get them out. Yes, they probably would, yeah. Although it's not like they're not speaking to the bowlers. Yeah, the, anyway, the, yeah. no, you're right. Good uh, idea. I think, well, let's just leave Chris Silver because we've, <laughs> we've spoken all we can on him so far. I could speak about him all day, mate. Uh, have a little look at back at the, the England coaches that we know and we've had. You know, we've on had... podcast. You've had uh, Trevor Bayliss, who... A lot what, of people, you, what, what legacy a lot of, do you reckon he leaves? Why is he won the, the first ever team to win the World Cup oh. for England? That's still undecided. That World Cup. I imagine he probably could, be, probably could be the first ever England coach to take England up to number one in the ODI rankings. Took us to a T Twenty final where we lost because Ben Stokes got angry. <laughs> Mitch Marsh. His Ashes record's pretty bad, isn't it? He, Did he win one? He, was he there for 2013? I don't know if he was. <laughs> We're not very good at this, are we? Do you know Doesn't what? Matter. Does not matter. People spend too much time being negative, me me included. Yeah, you definitely. You you gotta you gotta be more positive. Yeah. You know? Think well, of, think of Brock Lesnar. The only problem is is you <laughs> Is you can't pour from an empty glass. What about Kane Velasquez signing a contract with the WWE? That's weird, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? The thing is, though, to go from... You, you walked were, out with Rey Mysterio. 
to go from UFC yeah. to wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> like, I know UFC is a, in both, that you could die in the ring, right? But in, wow. you, in UFC... It's a, no one's ever died in the UFC. But they have died in mixed martial arts, yeah? Probably. Yeah, they definitely have. You don't know that. You hear it about all the time. No, you don't. You hear about <laughs> boxers dying a lot. So, right. So, okay, you get seriously injured, right? Okay, that's like, well, I don't know. It's come out yeah. that uh, what's his name was battling with a no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bisping had zero eyes in the ring and was still beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> right, he had a serious eye injury and had to have. He's got a fake eye. Yeah. What's your point? Um, what I'm saying is, is although UFC is brutal, yeah. The schedule of WWE is that not just more brutal? Like you're 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 working every weekend. You're yeah. traveling the whole. The schedule's uh, definitely more brutal because they usually fight like two or three times a year, whereas that's like two or three times a night sometimes. The thing is, though, I'm thinking. I know WWE will say that they haven't got relaxed testing rules, but they have. Um, WWE? Do they say they've got any testing rules? Yeah, because people got because of the whole or everybody. You know the. They don't. What they, they 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 have they have a policy a three strike policy. But no, they don't. That's because people started dying. Do you remember those people? All the people that have died from in the UFC, UFC, not the UFC, the WWE. Right. No, but through substance oh, abuse, because okay, painkillers and things right. like that. No, they, yeah, it's it. They all do steroids. Yeah. Right. They do, but micro dosing, you know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but um, what I'm saying. I like that move for Kane Velasquez. Do you think it's harder to go to the WWE? I know you, don't have to, you might not have to train hard. They want the brutal training, but it's just the schedule. The schedule's nasty, but you, I don't. It's different, isn't it? There is crossover, but I, I, I think it's the actual thing itself. As in, rather than fight, you're you're doing fixed wrestling rather than fighting. Yeah, is is easier. Yeah, but you're. How, you need you need better acting skills and some yeah. charisma, which is yeah. difficult. Yeah, okay, but the, you can't the, just the in go the ring into, stuff is safer. You can't just go into fighting. No, that's so difficult to no. do. And it, it takes years. It's just yeah, the, 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 the in the ring stuff's going to be tough. And who knows? Is because Brock Lesnar doesn't do every night, does he? he turns no. up like once a year. But or Kane Velasquez so. and Brock Lesnar are a different class, aren't they? Bro, they are fighting each other. Are they? Yeah, they've already fought each other in the UFC. Brock Lesnar ran away from him. All scared. Because last time they met was in the UFC and Cain Velasquez fucked him up. Really? Yeah, this bad. Is, this is not cricket. We said it's a crossover podcast now. <laughs> yeah. In MMA and wrestling. What I did want to ask you about cricket was, <laughs> is if we look at the previous England coaches. Yeah. And we've had, um, what's it? But we've had Balo, we've had Andy Flower, we've had Peter Moores. Mush. Mush, he was a bowling, spinning coach. How amazing Are you would saying it, that's, he's not a coach? How amazing would it be if he was the head coach? I'd love him to be the head coach. From the interviews I've watched him, he seems like a lovely bloke. I'd love to have Mush. It's weird. You okay, mate? Well, I'm just looking at my frequently viewed pages on. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Um. Oh, another notification. Do you reckon that bloke over there? Yeah. Thinks he's on someone. Is not in a massive picture in someone's house. No. Maybe you're in his. That would be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there anybody who you would prefer to have that England job? Mush. Because <laughs> I was thinking when it Chris Silver Wood wasn't wasn't announced. I as want Ricky Ponting. Ricky Ponting was somebody because he does the IPL. I think he'd give. I think he'd give out really good bollockings, and I think that'd be good. I thought. I thought I'd like to have Ricky Ponting. I think how much drama would be created with Ricky Ponting being England coach. I thought maybe Gucci could have another go, but perhaps he's not. Do you know who else I thought of? Actually, I think this I wouldn't would mind Langer. <laughs> I know Australia already have him, got him, but I have yeah. him. Do you know this is who I think we should have got? I can't, for the life of me, understand why we haven't. Shane. Is Jason Gillespie? He knows the county game so well. He's been a proven test I'm player. Not. Yeah, it's a good point. Like, is there a better person who knows county level who has got that test career behind Ashley him? Ashley Giles. Well, he's already like, I don't trust Giles. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't what? trust Giles. Whoa, 
what? I don't know. What I think there's got to be something there that I don't trust about him. Drugs? No, I just think like, do you know what? I've got a feeling like... Sandpaper? I think it might be like jobs for the boys a little bit with Jyla. Oh, get out. You don't think he's got any anything to give? You're being arse, you are. <laughs> Take that back. Um, he listens to this. Alex Stewart, I thought, perhaps. Oh, God, don't do that. No? Be too boring. 290s. I want boycott. Imagine that. Be yeah, so good. Just give it to the commentary team. <laughs> oh, you guys talk about it all the time. You do it. And then hopefully they give it to us after. I'll take that. Would you quit your job tomorrow if they came to you? But we could fire you at any point. This isn't a guaranteed job. It's done on how well you do. Yeah. <laughs> Would I have a go? Would you do it? Oh, Would you just quit God. your job and do it? Yeah, why not? Where where are the England team now? In England. But where they they go New Zealand, aren't they? Yeah. They're like you've got to go to New Zealand tomorrow. What do you do? You got a dog? I just have to just take the dog with me. To New Zealand. Yeah, we're fine. Just get in the backpack. Uh, okay. And luggage. You've got it sorted, mate. Uh. I think I'll have to be a Skype coach. I think. Yeah. From New, Ze- in yeah, New Zealand. Yeah, just big tellies. Be fine. Like lovely bowl in that. I couldn't believe that... Pitch it up, Stu. I couldn't believe that um, they didn't give it to... Oh, this Chris Silverwood, it doesn't fill me with... Who? Who can you believe they gave it to? Chris Silverwood. They I... did give it to him. Yeah, I can't believe it. I don't you want said to I can't it. believe they didn't give it to... No, they. Didn't... I was going to say that they didn't give it to... Either the names we... Jason Glass, we should yeah. have got it. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I'd love it if I Punter got it. I think they've had enough it. of Australians, I think. I'd have loved it if Punter got it. Do you know what? I would be really excited if Ricky Ponton got the good That job. would be so fun, wouldn't it? But do you think it's a little bit like, if Ricky Ponton gets a job, it's a little bit like when Roy Keane gets managerial jobs. Everyone's yeah. like, yeah, what? And then it was like, oh, it could go. Everyone hates him. Yeah. I really like Roy Keane as a pundit. He's a good pundit. But I think... United's oh, a mess. United's a mess. Are we going to talk about their midfield? Do you just think... Can we turn this to a sports podcast? Do you think Ricky Ponting would would have would be a good honestly, it would be a good appointment for England? I don't I don't know. I think it'd be amazing. It's too hard to tell, isn't it? I don't know. What would you say England's biggest thing is to improve on in the te- in the te- in the in batting. In w- what format? Test match, batting. Is there a better man in the in the who's in the managerial role at the moment who could do that? Than Ricky Ponting. I mean, I, that's the the thing. It's I not, don't know. Well, no, no, no. You're going on his career. If you're going by career, then yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, know. I don't know. I don't know what he's like with people, and I'm not sure he was actually that popular when he was Australian captain with the players. But it, here, here's one for you, right? So you're a brand new England player. I think he'd be scary. So Owen, you've just got a, you've just got a contract, not a contract, but you've central up, contract <laughs> called up to the England team, right? So for what? What am I doing? Because I can do all of Test it. Test number four. Oh God, I didn't want that. <laughs> I'll sign it though. All right. So you you're in the team, right? I can feel the Your pressure. Your first already. net session. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to think I'm just not going to get out. So yeah, and you so Jimmy Anderson is swinging it around corners, right? And you're actually you've been in there 45 I can minutes play swing. and you've not nicked one off yet. Of course not. You're actually looking good for a, a, a nice I think 30, I might right? just be starting to walk down at him, but go on. Who would you prefer to walk up and say great good bit of batting? Chris Silverwood or Ponton? Oh, well, yeah, but yeah. Was, yeah, but that's not the point. That's a, that again. We're going back to what was the actual job. If that's the job, then give it to Ricky. Ricky, if needs that's it. all he's got to do, stand there, and be like, mate, you're very good, you. <laughs> then give it to Ricky, isn't it? But I think there's I more to it than that. Ricky Bonner would be in the ne- next year, wouldn't he? I reckon he'd bring KP back or something. <laughs> if I would get behind. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with England. Okay, I would. I wanted. I wanted one of those two Australians. Do you think you're going to sit... Oh, imagine oh. if it was like a Salford City, both of them. Oh, Imagine, imagine if, if they just brought back the 2011 team to be the coach. All um, of them. I don't think Andrew <laughs> Strauss wants it, but he would be someone... Uh, I would, no, he's too high up now. He's gone yeah, like, past yeah, that what job. I'm saying. But like, he would... he His mentality and the way that he... He was a captain. captain. So you, you're expecting the cricket captain yeah. has got a better chance of becoming a coach haven't you really I know it's not a great it's not it's not like an you'd easy you'd hope con- you'd have some man management skills which again goes Ricky's probably but I'd have, I'd have loved it if Strauss would want to go into the coaching yeah. roles and I reckon there might be some like they just didn't want it in Australian really yeah because that, they're just uh, to bring it doing back. their head in well, it's like England football we had foreign yeah, coaches for A's yeah. like no 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 we're not doing this anymore 
Yeah. They were. Do you watch it the other night? No, no. It was bad. Was it? But Tyrone Mings didn't play, so no Mings. To be fair, right. Czech Republic played well, but England don't have a midfield. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, no, not really. Okay. Um, I thought we'd look at the comments, but Jordan Henderson, the most overrated footballer in the world. <laughs> I thought we'd look at the comments, but from the um, the hype video onwards, we won't go back any oh, further. I'll go back that. to the first ever podcast. <laughs> no, go on. So, did you want the comments? Uh, yeah, I want to answer them. There's quite a few. There's quite a few of them. So, Are there a, uh, do I have to? Okay, we're just going to. I'm going to answer. Them. So, Doctor Holmes and Doctor Holmes is one of our first ever commenters. Nice to have him back. Copyright strike loading in one, two. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. Because the, the music and the thing. Nice to see you guys back. Nice to see you guys back and nice to know you're wrestling fans. Well, you'll like this podcast. Yes. Very so true. There. So one fan pleased. Asad R, again on the same mm-hmm. um, hype video. You Lol, you guys used to hate Stokes. Still do. That's not changed. So he'll like this video. Go on. Dave Villarar shit. What? Oh, sorry. I thought that was his name. That's Which, someone's comment. <laughs> uh, that's James Tompkins. And the funny thing is, Asadar, at least Everton are all right for Owen's sake. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this is, that has not aged Can well. We, let's leave it. I mean, uh, I don't How know. many times have you been to Villa Park, mate? Season ticket. You've never been, mate. You've never been. Angel, of the Toffees. Andrew Patel, they're back. Yeah. Eunice Khan fan. Oh, how good was Eunice Khan? I'd love him as a coach. I was just about to say, that oh, would be a... A batting coach. batting coach. Oh, that would like, be... We'll never lose now. This is impossible. Oh. We might bat for too long. Yeah, Imagine I love Eunice like, Khan. We're going to declare. But like, we're not declaring. <laughs> <laughs> Eunice Khan would make Gary Balance. Get on with it. What was the next comment? I have I have seen all the old podcasts, so now I look uh, forward to the date second of twenty September twenty second. Uh, Love from Lahore. That's a really nice comment. I'm gonna give that a little hearty. Okay. And I'd, Eunice Khan's a big boy. <laughs> Not like I mean chubby. I just mean like he's like he's a great lad. Eunice Khan. <laughs> uh, thank the Lord I don't have to watch We Cricket anymore. Now you guys are coming back. So true, Salman. I mean. Don't have to watch what. Uh, we cricket. I imagine it's another oh, okay. YouTube channel. Yeah, we shouldn't plug that. Marcus, never. Oh, this is on the very first. This is the first podcast back. Never clicked so fast. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Nabil, about bloody time. Oh. I don't think he did it in like that northern accent, though. Okay. Yeah. Really <laughs> okay. His phone's working perfectly now. <laughs> Do you think is that your old one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think um, I'll have the new one if you like? <laughs> Do you? Um, go on, next one. Do you think we'll ever meet a subscriber? That would be weird. It's so weird. Without them knowing that it's like, us. Just us talking like on a train or public yeah, transport. Like, oh, I've got the perfect podcast for you, boys. Uh, Asad R. Thank F for that. No need for that. Shite Golden Ducks podcast. Never listen to it. But thanks. We need to stop plugging these. Asadar again. Let's give Roy the gloves. He's terrible. Give him some time, something to do. That was a quote from what one of us said. Yeah, I think that was me. At least the third time Owen has used the Dylan Hartley analogy on the podcast. Oh, recycled material. Dylan Hartley. It's the one when you say is Dylan Hartley the in England coach. Dylan Hartley. Oh, the, oh, really? I've used that before. When you no, say he's the England captain, the captain. And he's a horrible bloke, and I say they that's just the don't fourth care. They just want to win. I think it's a good analogy. And uh, rugby is shy as well. That's it's all from Asad R. Um, probably a lack of understanding. Shout out to the new art, but it looks fire. It's a bit of self-promotion there. That's a, a wide-eyed shake of the head there. <laughs> uh, uh, squad. F- oh, here we go. Uh, Nabil has put down the New England squad that he would choose. I'd okay. like to have your... This is the, t- the okay, testing. Yep. Rory Burns... As your number one, and he's put up three players, so you're allowed to choose one of them for the number two. So he hasn't role. picked one. Well, he's, he's put it, he doesn't okay. mind these Let's, three. Let, hit me with it. David Milan. I think he was actually done by when he got dropped. Go on. Dominic Sibley. 
This is the lad that we are shouting for because he's the one that averages four. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. We I'll are getting yeah, mental for Sibley. Or Joe Denley. Sibbers. Sibbers, <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> Go, Sibby. James Vince, number three. Sibby again. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Root, four, and captain. Sibley. <laughs> ben Stokes, five. <laughs> Might let him in. Johnny Bear, 